What's up, everybody? It's your boy Chimpact, and today we are up against Mega Mogwai, week 11 of the GBA. And this is gonna be a doozy, but uh, looking at the team, we Vile Blast Talon Reggie um, Goo Dra Sev. Strega. <laughs> All right, so put the team right there. So look at his team. We can easily just lead out with Magneton, set up a light screen, but um, that'll be the only time that I can do that. And I can't bluff the fact that I have an electric move if I go out to Magneton now. Um, it looks like there's not gonna be a Roar user on his team. Yeah, because there's no spike, so there's no Roar probably. Um, if you yeah, there's no roar, so I can I can probably lead out with Scolipede, and Scolipede is pretty much the best lead. Um, I can protect on the Town Flame if you Swords Dance. Um, it has an item, so it's not acrobatics, so that's good to know. I see the item right there. It's a female Town Katniss. Yeah, Scolipede's the lead. If he leads out with Abstrika, I can protect on it. If it's Scarfed, I can switch out. Um, he'd probably fear the earthquake, so he could switch out into Talon or Reggie Steel, unless he's really, really confident he can take it. So he would be Sash or Scarf. No, no, no. Yeah. It's Upstrike out speed. Upstrike out speed. Scolipede. Yeah, hundred percent. So he would. I would fear the read, unless I was Ogberry. Watch out, Mogwai. So easy protect here. Um, there's no other play. He goes for overheat. Okay, okay, okay. So I can just switch out into my Kofag. The f I want to see how confident he is in going for the overheat. Because if he's scarfed, I would expect no. Because last time, last he knows that last time I brought a defensive Scolipede. So I feel like he can be safe to go for an attack here. Um, because even if like the only way that I I can't lead a well with an offensive Scolopede. That doesn't, doesn't. I guess it would make sense. Imagine if I was just offensive Sash. Oh, if I was offensive Sash, I would win. GG. Um, hand solo. Let's go. Overheat. Okay, so he overheats again. So he's pretty confident that he's going to be able to outspeed me. So it's either Scarfed or it's uh, Sashed. That's. Um, we're going to be able to tell if he's Scarfed or not if he Vol switches here. Because there's no reason not to run Volt Switch on your on your Zeb Strika because there's Thunderbolt, there's Overheat, there's Hidden Power, and then there's Volt Switch. There's no reason to run Signal Beam, and that's the other only coverage. Um, Thunder Wave is a possibility, but Volt Switch is so much better than Thunder Wave. So here we're just going to set up Tox Spikes. Tox Spikes is mainly for the Blastoise to put a little bit of pressure, and like I said in the team building, there's synergy with uh, Tox Spikes between my Sub Protect. Um, Scolipede so that I can wear it down a little bit and also have light screen reflect so it's gonna take a little bit more from his team to deal damage to me So that's good. Also Diancy he just needs a little bit of damage before uh, I can deal some damage to the Gudra and stuff so like Diamond Storm is a 2 hit kill and We've all just gonna kill itself. So here Aerodactyl is easy to play. There's no way Yeah, good good good. I was, I was uh, There's no way he goes for Metal Claw there. Metal Claw Steel Wing I was thinking about Aerodactyls. Aerodactyls gets the what? That gets medical. What am I thinking? All right, so that oh shoot, that was banded damage. I just keep talking. I need to stop talking. I just need to pay attention to this battle. Um, I can just click pursuit here and deal damage to this. I know that it's definitely banded, and based on the HP that he lost, um, it's got to be bulky, right? I don't think he's running a lot of speed. I think he's just running adamant this time. He goes out to Iron Maiden. Um, so I took 50 from the Flare Blitz and I just took 2 I'm going to take 20 with this Earthquake that I'm going to hit him with. Or do I just take 10? I can, I can live rocks here. No, Earthquake is the play. I have to click Earthquake. There's no other move that I can really go for. Like, if I go Scolipede... Um, yeah, Earthquake's the play. If I, if I go Scolipede, then there's the potential of him going for Thunder Wave. Because it's not out of the realm of possibility for him to click Thunder Wave here. And if I 
go to Magneton, he can just go for rocks and I just lose a ton of momentum because he could easily have Earthquake to deal with my Magneton as well. And uh, because I am dual screen, uh, he wouldn't really fear me anyway, so it doesn't really matter. So this is a tough decision. Oh, one that I'm going to stretch my legs out for. <laughs> All right, so it's defog or earthquake. Defog pros and cons. I can set up tiger spikes again. His red seal will most likely not going to be able to set up rocks again, except on magneton. And if he does, um, that's good for me because I, I, if he sets up rocks on magneton, then I have momentum because I have screens up, so I can easily switch out. There's no way he clicks on on that. Earthquake, I just deal damage to this thing, so. That's pretty much it. I just all I do is deal damage to this thing when Bulldoze already kills it. So I think I just convinced myself to click Defog because I want the uh, I want the Scholar P to be as healthy as possible. So I'll, I'll sacrifice this Aerodactyl just so that uh, Scholar P is healthy. So the Aerodactyl did put in a little bit of work, I like that. Uh, if this had Stealth Rock, that would have been great. Because I would easily exchange Stealth Rock and Tiger Spikes for that. Because I would have just killed the Talon Flame, and he would have been forced to go ahead to the Blastoise first. To be able to spin. And the Blastoise has to be paralyzed. Or the Blastoise has to be poisoned before that can happen. So, yeah. I'm just going to do that. And if he wants to set up hazards again, that's fine. I don't want to go out to Magneton because um, I don't think he would try to switch out his Registeel. So yeah, just go with Scolopede here and click sub. Um, the reason to sub here is because if he doesn't have Seismic Toss, which I think is a, probably a misplay because of potential sets that I can run. Um, but, you know, he could just feel like he's running the cash set although I don't think he ran seismic toss last time but I did change up my team goes to thunder wave oh my gosh here we go all right give me the, I don't usually say this but that was a free substitute I mean it did cost me 25% of my HP but every sub cost 25% of your HP so free sub feels good all right so now I can just click protect here and the reason why I'm clicking protect here is because there's there's no way he goes for rocks. Yeah, he goes for iron head here. And um, I think that if he's not running any attack investment, that he's not going to be able to break my sub with that. Um, so here I can swords dance. And I'm in a great position if I do. Now the thing is, if I was Black Sludge, this would have been so good if I was Black Sludge. I'd be healing up to full HP, be able to sub again, and that would have been great. Um, because I can just do this again in case something goes wrong. In case he has like infiltration on something. But, oh my gosh, it didn't break the sub. It didn't break the sub. Okay, 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 okay. Alright, so... Um... I just sword dance again. I just sword dance again because now I don't need to. I don't need to click a. Uh... Alright, he breaks it there. I don't need to click Thunderfang on his Talon or Blastoise now. Iron Head and Bulldoze both kill Blastoise and Talon Flame. So this is solid. This is solid. Um. Now I can just sub up again. Actually, should I sub? I, I, I click sub. I, I click sub too, too early. I don't know because now I'm having second thoughts. Because he can't click Iron Head, he can't click Thunder Wave. And if he switches, I'll be able to know what he switches out into. Man, might have been a misplay on my part. 
kind of rushed that. I kind of rushed that. Probably should have just clicked baton pass because if he goes for Iron Head, then it doesn't matter because I, I win the game. Because I can just rock polish on this and out speed. No, I don't even need to rock polish. I, I set up, I'm at plus five. I'm at plus five speed. No, 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 no. I need, I need to click. I need to click substitute. Okay, 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 okay. Because I miscounted. I miscounted. Because they're sub, protect, sword stance, sword stance, sub. So I need five. Okay, okay, okay. I, I didn't miscount. I didn't miscount. So basically, this is the play. Because I need plus I need plus three speed to outspeed Weavile Talon and the non scarf up Striker. But I need plus five speed to outspeed um, this up Striker that's Scarf. And I think that it is Scarf. So that's why I made, yeah. That's why I need to make that play. Because when I was like, <laughs> when I saw him like take his time on that play, it just, okay, okay, Brave Bird. Okay, there's no other play other than <laughs> Steelix. I could be cheeky and go to Dynasty, but Dynasty does not kill Blastoise. It's locked into Brave Bird. Looking good. This is this is looking like okay. This is good. Um, I only lost one Pokemon, but that's fine because I got the setup right here. This is the ideal setup, right? Um, the only thing that can stop me is Sash on his Zeb Striker. Even if we both Sash, that's not gonna stop me. Cause Thunderfang still has a very high chance to kill Blastoise without without Life Orb. Mogwai, what is it you're thinking? Like, I got... Man, Goldilocks has been taking all this trash talk from the analysts all season long. How it's like, I'm bringing in a new Pokemon every week. And then it's just... It's just putting the team on his back. It's taking hits. It healed up to full against the Fufu team. The uh, Manchester United. Um, unfortunately, I got blown away by Fizzy. But every other week, like it's, it's been it's been doing work. All right, so he switches out. Okay. Okay. Sure. Whatever. Just click bulldoze. Just in case. He wants to do something weird. It's not Custap, and it's not even Custap range. Why does Bulldoze look exactly like Earthquake? Alright, so this is good. This is good. Um, see, looks just putting in the works. Alright, this Goldilocks, man. Well, plus four. I was, I was going to make a joke, like, it's not too much, not too little, but, like, plus four is a little, is a little much for, uh, for attack, and plus five speed is a lot for that, so, you know what? I was gonna say not too fast, but it's stats like it's tech stat not too high, not too low, and then speed stat is just I guess it's way too low. But with a speed boost, it's a little, it's, it's like 300 right now, almost 270, it's 275. So I'm at plus five speed. What you got, Mogwai? I mean, like he's going to zip strike up. It's Sash, and even then I can maybe live in overheat with the spread that I'm running. Really tired. I just woke up from a nap, but I'm still really tired. Curtains are closed. Maybe I should open up the curtains. Get a little sun in. All right, he goes out to Talon. Get Iron Head boy. <sighs> I swept him. I swept him if I clicked rock polish. It's been, it's locked in. <sighs> yeah, 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 no matter what, there's no, there's no play that he can do. If I, if I just click rock polish, there's nothing that he can do, but I guess it's a 50, 50, it, it's, it was a 50, 50 anyway. Because he could have clicked Flare Blitz, even though it wouldn't have knocked me out. 
Um, it would have put me in ice shard range, I think, because I don't have the reflect up. Maybe not. I mean, who knows? But man, now he just goes out to sub strike. It doesn't matter. If he goes weave out, it's whatever. I should have put autonomize on this just to play around low kick. I didn't think about that. I have rock polish. Oh man, I'm so tired. Shout out to Pokemon MD. Link will be in the description. <laughs> All right. Like, what do you have? My legs are stretched. I mean, I only lost one Pokemon. He needs, he's lost two so far. And he's forced to go to Zip Striker to go for Overheat, right? Because he does not yet know if I am sturdy or not. So if he goes for Vol Switch on a sturdy, it's GG. GG, it's MV. Link will be in the description. Got MV. <sighs> is this lag or is this just a small one taking forever? Because my net is good. But then again, we are playing like from East Coast to Spain. It does go to Marty. Alright, Marty. I am switching straight out into Kofag. I'm switching straight out into Kofag. Like, 0 to 100. There's no other play that he makes other than Overheat. Yeah. Yep, knew it. I'm the man. Give me that overheat absorbed. That did a little bit. That did 25%. Both overheats did 25%. Seriously? Down to 50% already? Took 83 damage? Alright, so we're just gonna go for Tyler's place here because we just set them up again. He has no will of switching. Feels good. I think he would switch out into Gudra, but Gudra cannot kill me, I think, even with Draco meter, because I'm max with death. Frostbite, what is that? Weavile, why would you go out to Weavile? He makes, like, Mogwai just makes these aggressive plays, man. It just doesn't make sense to me. So, man, if I just click Willow, this Weavile is dead. Like, I know you're locked into Overheat. <laughs> Whatever, man. Um, I can't click. I could click Disable here, actually. Disable the knockoff, set up Reflect. Um, or I could click Memento. No, I'm going to click will for the long term. Because... Um, If I live this, yes, 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 yes. All right, so I live that I pressure. Wow. Actually, I knew he was pressure because it exerts the pressure. Is there my pressure? PB up. You're gonna need an ether. Um. <laughs> the thing is, I should. I could switch, but like, what am I switching to? Challenge Peters out. Whatever. I don't care. He was super fast anyway. Uh, I don't want to go to Magneton. I'm just gonna sag this. Okay, it goes for knockoff. I could have switched out to Diancy, but like there's no risk. I mean, there's no risk. There's no point in risking that. Uh, especially since Kofag doesn't outspeed anything else on his team. Um, the only thing it would be good for is make evolving the Diancy, which I don't even want to do right now. I think I want to go out into Magneton to set up some screens. Of course, we just disconnected. All right, guys, we are back. Um, disconnect is replayed back to f back to whatever. Um, he's at the same amount of HP. The battle timer is a little. Is it the same? I don't really remember. But we are back from the disconnect, and I'm like, as you can see here, I'm taking a while making my play. So I could go Diancy. But there's no toxic spikes, so I'm gonna just go out to 
Uh, Magneton is good. Uh, I Scolipede, I, if I protect, that'll be great. Because I don't want to get my thing knocked off. Like, I don't want to take the knockoff damage. Like, if I if I protect and then sub, that'll be great. That's ideal. Yeah, yeah. I'm going to go to Magneton here. Magneton is the play here because I can set up screens. And the screen that I'm going to set up first is light screen. I want to get a light screen first because that is the screen that is going to be more important against this team because he has three special attackers. Shoot. Shoot. I should have set up reflect first. I should have set up reflect first because if I set up reflect first and then the light screen after, then I'm going to have more light screen turns. But he goes out to Gudra, so I can Thunder Wave this. Did I set a Tox Vegas against the Weavile? I don't think so. I think I just will this on the Switch. Alright, so... Um... Please get fully paralyzed. Please get fully paralyzed. Oh. It's not gonna do that much damage. It's gonna do like 40. I gotta set up the reflect now. If I, if I, um, I probably should have set up Tiger Spikes, but then the Weavile wouldn't have gotten burned. Like if I set up Tiger Spikes here, I wouldn't have, I would have double screens up, and then I could freely switch into Diancy here, and get two kills with Diancy because the screens are up. I can take any two hits from any one of his Pokemon with Diancy, and I know that is up Striker's Scarf now, so I can easily play around that. And the most important part is not the fact that Dynasty can get two kills. The most important part is the fact that this Magneton doesn't explode on this. Like, I have to go for Reflect here, unfortunately. Because the reason why I'm going for Reflect here is if he gets fully paralyzed here, then that's great because then I can go out to Dynasty. The reason why I'm not switching out to Dynasty, even though I do have the light screen, is because of Power Up. Power Up's still going to do a lot of damage to my Dynasty. And it's not gonna, the Moonblast is not gonna kill because I think he's most likely going to be Assault Vest because I have a rain team. I was very, I was considering bringing King Drake here, but um, Drake only does like 80% to this thing. So it doesn't actually Oko it. And yeah, it doesn't actually Oko it, so. Yeah, gotta reflect. If he gets fully paralyzed here, that'll be great because I can switch out Dynasty. Okay. Miss? Okay. <sighs> Never am I ever lucky. Alright, so. I have six turns of light screen left and seven turns of reflect. Six turns of light screen. Three turns of setup with Scolipede. Minimum needed to outspeed Weavile. Yeah, Scolipede here. Um, I can't click Sword Sands because Fire Blast does 60% to this. Through the screen. Well, it does like 50 to 60, but. I can't do that. I can just, I mean, why why set up a Swords Dance when I can just substitute twice? And he could miss a Fire Blast or he can miss a, an, another attack. Sub up, sub up, my dude. Let's go, Scolipede. You got this, my dude. Make intimidate him like, like, not like the ability, but like intimidate the Gudra so that it's paralyzed in fear of you. You got 100 attack, you got so much speed, like, intimidate him. Dragon Pulse. Oh, shoot. If I SD there, I would have been able to take this. Does he even break the sub? It breaks the sub. Okay, 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 okay. 
Speed boost, that's one. That's one. I need to rock polish with Steelix. I need to rock polish with Steelix down speed the Substrika. Because there's five turns of reflect left. There's five turns of reflect left. So I'm on the timer. I am on the timer. Alright. Gotta sub up again. Uh, I can't risk swords dancing here. He hasn't gotten paralyzed yet. He has three opportunities to, go to have gotten paralyzed and he hasn't gotten paralyzed yet. <sighs> okay, okay. What is his lag, man? Like... Paralyzed and can't move. Ah. Speed boost. I have to click Sword Dance because without Sword Dance, my Scolipede does not knock out his Blastoise with Thunderfang. Like, see, this is where the Black Sludge would be so important. Ah, oh, this is the second time where I'm regretting Black Sludge. Give me this swords dance mog watch. Give me this swords dance. Give me the swords dance. <sighs> Man. I'm gonna eat something after this. I'm gonna have a nice meal, a nice snack. Like my Steelix is gonna have a snack on his team. Cause he just hit Fire Blast again. Three Fire Blasts in a row through Para. I say in a row because I guess the last turn he could have clicked Fire Blast. That's the third out of four Fire Blasts that he hit through Para. Through Para. Anyways, uh, let's just baton pass into my Steelix. And we have to go for Rock Polish because we're at plus 3 speed and we need plus 5 to outspeed the Zeb Striker. There's no point in going to Diancy here because Diancy doesn't kill the Blastos with Diamond Storm. I could have thought about it a little bit more and put more attack investment in my Diancy so that in case this situation in particular happened, I'd be able to win the game with Diamond Storm. But it doesn't really matter because Diamond Storm never hits anyway. He went for Ice Beam to freeze? Mog, why? Mog, why don't do this to me? Don't do this to me, man. We have great battles. Last game was a 1-0. Last game was a 1-0, my dude. Although, I was very unlucky that game. I'm never going to get over that game. Never, ever. I truly believe I should be 9-1 right now. I truly do. That could be like plus 35. Whatever. No Johns. Rock Polish? It doesn't matter. Light Screen's running out this turn, so. No freeze, no freeze, no freeze, no freeze, no freeze, no freeze, no freeze. A drive, please don't freeze. Thank you. Light Screen wears off, so it didn't it didn't matter. Even if I set up the reflect first, it didn't matter. So Reflect is going to wear off next turn, but it doesn't matter. Next turn Reflect wears off. Because I'm about to just sweep his team. What's good? Now boy 192 here. Back in here once again. 
All right, what you got, Mogwai? What you got? Don't make this, don't make this longer than it has to be, my dude. Just, just send out the Zeb Striker. Hope. I'm, there's no way it's Sash. There's no way it's Sash. There's no way you don't have full switch on your Pokemon. There's no way you don't have full switch on the thing. You lose so much if you don't have full switch. You lose so much. Kofak is so good, man. Kofak is so good. It forces him to play so awkwardly with his Blastoise. Even though he hasn't brought in Blastoise once. Kills Batman. You know what? I can respect this. He should probably run some calcs. I got you, Mogwai. Salute. I got you. I understand you. We're on the same page. Nah. Nah. I'm a, I'm a chapter ahead of Mogwai right now. I'm a chapter ahead. Thunder. Bang. Let's go. Oh, Cove, this Blastoise. Easy. Okay. Blastoise Mega Evolves. Carrying big can is Nickelodeon. Use Thunder Fang. Oh my. Please. Holy. Why do you have Hydro Pub last time? You got Skull this time. I'm tired of Mogwai, dude. Reflect wears off. I lose this game. Even if I get a crit. I can't even crit it. I can't even kill it with a crit. That's like 60. Man. It's just, it's, it's literally the same thing that happened last time. It's literally the same thing that happened last time. Except an even lower chance of this happening. Even lower. It came with the move. There was no other move that I could have ran though. There was literally no other move that I could have ran that would have killed the Blastoise. Earthquake with Life Orb does not kill Blastoise. A plus two. It doesn't. It just doesn't, okay? It just doesn't. And earlier on in the game, I had to click the substitute because otherwise I wouldn't have been able to see the Zebstrika. I needed plus five. I was only at plus four. The only thing that I could have done differently was uh, play around the tailwind. Yeah, Zebstrika just has to be easy and knocks me out. Honestly, it's like super slow. I don't understand. Like, what other Zebstrika set can you run that you're... Why are you bringing Weave out first? I guess that knockoff kills me, so it doesn't even matter. Even if she's burned, knockoff kills me. I'm hasty anyway. Like I don't have any attack on Skullipede. <sighs> Man, this is depressing. I had so much momentum. Lost a bit of it. Gained it back. <sighs> Man. Why am I so salty? No need to be salty. I clinched the playoff spot. I just didn't want to lose to Mogwai. I just didn't want to. Got unlucky both times. Oh, Metal Claw. Isn't Metal Claw inaccurate? Doesn't have like 95? How does he hit his? How does he hit his inaccurate moves? I'm just missing every single one of mine. Oh well. Caterpillar. I need two protects here. I need two protects here. I need another protect. Give it to me. Give me the protect here. Make this a 1 0. Never am I ever lucky. Never am I ever lucky. It would have been a 1 0 because he would have killed himself with a life orb. After the burn. Like, he would have took burn there. He would have been at that amount of HP. He would have been at less than that amount of HP because of burn does 2% more. 
So then he would have died, and he would not sub strike, and then he would have killed me with thunder. He would have clicked thunder, because I would have told him to click thunder. I have no attacks. All right, man. Uh, we lost the Mogwai. We clinched the playoff spot, though, so it's not bad. But like, we could go eight and four, which is kind of lame. We're in eight and three right now. Could easily be ten and one if we dodge high rolls and like max rolls, not even like not even high rolls, max rolls. And crit paras and thunderfang misses. Anyways, hope you guys enjoyed. Leave a like. Check out Mogwai. He's great. Duelist extraordinaire. He's really getting back into Pokemon. We had like a 20-30 minute chat yesterday. Um, talking about what times we were going to play. Not yesterday. I guess it was Thursday. I don't remember. But uh, yeah, we were talking about what we were going to play. And then he was talking about how he played his UCL game. He spoiled the game for me. So I know... How he did in that game and uh we discussed the ucl and how he's uh getting back into playing in the ucl he's like getting pumped up again but uh hope you guys enjoyed leave a like see you next week except i'm gonna be recording daily show on live so be sure to check me out follow me on twitter <laughs>